Uh, as far as the personal attacks, uh, I'm very angry at her because of what she's done to the country. I'm very angry at her that she'd weaponized the justice system against me and other people. Very angry at her. Uh, I think I'm entitled to personal attacks. I don't have a lot of respect for her. I don't have a lot of respect for her intelligence. And I think she'll be a terrible president. And I think it's very important that we win. And whether the personal attacks are good, bad, or Hello, everyone. Attacks, Welcome to American Life 365. He's weird. He's weird. I've heard some strange voices attacking Trump fans to anti-attack Harris Wall's personal attacks recently. The voice appears to warn Trump fans not to make personal attacks on Harris Walls, even though Harris Walls personally attacks Trump and Vance on a daily basis, referring Trump as a sex offender, false, saying Vance is the weirdo on the couch. Before I was elected as vice president, before I was elected as United States Senator, I was the elected attorney general, as I've mentioned, of California, and before that I was a courtroom prosecutor. In those roles, I took on perpetrators of all kinds. <laughs> Predators who abused women. Fraudsters who ripped off consumers. Cheaters who broke the rules for their own gain. So hear me when I say, I know Donald Trump's type. Personal attacks, are personal attacks are often an important part of campaigns. Only through personal attacks can voters know what kind of person a politician is. Trump spoke of Harris's transition between her Indian and black heritage. Isn't this true? If it's true, why cover it up? Here I want to expose to you another Harris who uses a Chinese nickname to deceive Chinese Americans. While Harris was running for office in San Francisco, while attending events in Chinatown, she earned points every time she perfectly introduced herself using her Chinese nickname, Yijin Li. She deceived the Chinese people in San Francisco, there are more Chinese Americans in San Francisco, and made them think she was Chinese American. When Harris was among Indians, she emphasized that she was an 100% Indian. Harris' turnaround seemed to bode well when she won a majority of the Indian American vote. In the 2016 presidential election, the Democratic Party won about two-thirds of Asian American voters. As it complains of her successful cheating, a San Francisco law enacted in 2019 states that candidates can now not use a Chinese name of their choice on the ballot unless that name has been in use for at least two years. Otherwise, they must use simply transliterated English names. The law makes special provisions for Harris, prohibiting the use of a name unique to a certain ethnic group to defraud votes. Harris had the lowest approval rating in the 2020 Democratic primary and was the first to be eliminated. At the time, she also called Biden a racist. And Biden later made her his running mate because of her flip-flop special effects and being a woman. Trump said Harris is DEI, not because of her merits and ability. This is a fact, a fact that everyone knows. Why can't we tell the truth? Elections must be politically correct. According to the Democratic Party's rules of the game, Trump's remarks are not only subject to a gag order, but are also politically correct. Some Democrats and Republicans alike have played the same trick of Harris. Revealing their true nature lets voters know what kind of politician they are. This is very important for the democratic process of exposing liars to the people, which can we minimize the opportunities for politicians to deceive voters. Heritage Indians or African heritage have no problem. The United States is inherently a multi-ethnic country of immigrants, but don't cheat. Through personal attacks, including exposure of Walls's falsehoods, Walls eventually admitted that he had misspoken his participation in the battlefield. Tim Walt said that guns should only be used on the battlefield, just like I use guns on the battlefield. Would anyone consider this to be carelessness rather than cheating? He had never been in combat or carried a gun but wants to steal the credits from those brave and sacrifice heroes. When he learned he would be deployed to Iraq, he tore up the six-year contract he signed and retired from the army as soon as possible.
Does anyone think his actions deserve praise and pride? Only personal attacks can reveal the true face of a liar. Some observers commented, well Waltz's military fraud may be the downfall of Harris Waltz. All the I, to I believe tell me not. The leaders of the Democratic Party are now thick-skinned and have no shame at all. You cannot defeat Donald Looking Trump back, stand Joe down. Biden vowed not to walk away unless God told him to. With the friends of, and with the Lord Almighty comes out and tells me that I might do that. As it turns out, it was his party leaders who heard God's will first, and Biden was the last to be told God didn't want to see him. If you think this is something that has to be done, you have to make more and more people aware of this issue. Spread this awareness to more and more people. If you like this channel, please subscribe, share, and like it so that more people can hear this voice. Thanks. you can be convinced that you cannot defeat Donald Trump, will you stand down? With the friends of, and with the Lord Almighty comes out and tells me that, I might do that.